Hello class. This is Sunday, November 8th. This is Latin 101, Professor Barbara Lyman. In the last video, I gave you the grammar for Chapter 5. And so, since we've gotten a new tense and we're moving on in uh, the book, it's becoming a little bit more difficult, but still fun. I thought I'd just look at the translation with you uh, to show you what we're looking for. So we learned the new tense, the imperfect past. It has the bombas bot, bamus botus bot. So that really kind of jumps out at you. If you just glance through the translation, and you're looking for the bombs or the bots. You can you can see quite a bit, a few of them, because obviously Norma's going to be um, giving you practice for those. So you can see all in this first paragraph, uh, we've got our new ending and so I wanted to for my bot I wanted to show you how we were going to use that for the translation okay of course we can't forget about the present tense just because we've gotten now a new tense because here here's laborant that's just the the nt they work so we have two tenses now so you have to be just pay attention to the ending to, to see what tense it is I see a pendet that's just present tense because if it's imperfect past, it's going to have a ba, ba on there somewhere. We can't forget about our nouns either. So we're still going to have to be looking for our, especially our accusative endings. They really jump out. Of course, the genitive and whatnot. A-S, A-S for the accusative. So as we move along, we just have to look for a few more things. Um, Picteri, pueli. So, uh... When you before you start a translation, you can kind of just glance over it and see what your eye picks up. Uh, here we have a new construction n plus accusative. I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, so let's just do the first sentence. One way to start a Latin translation is to find the verb, and if the verb is in the last position. It, it's most likely it's going to be an uh. It's not going to be a to be verb because they're usually in the middle. They're linking verbs. This will be some sort of action verb. Not always. It could be transitive or intransitive. Here, if this is intransitive because there's no direct object, so we just have Minerva and Arachne. They were working well. Okay, so they were working well. First. Minerva, you have to go to the verb, she was winding, glomera bot, wool, I think this means winding into a ball, but it's kind of hard to all get in there, so we'll just say winding, she was winding, wool, there's your direct object with the am, for my bot, this is the first word in the sentence, so Latin, remember, it has a flexible word order, so that doesn't want to throw us. Let's just translate it. For my bot means he, she, or it was forming. But we know it's Minerva. So we know that was it's she was forming. She was forming what? Picturos. There's the direct object, accusative plural. She was forming pictures. Beautiful. There's the adjective matching the noun. She was forming beautiful pictures. And the day is going to mean that this is going to be ablative is the object of the preposition this one's glossed and it just says of the gods so she was forming beautiful pictures of the gods or about the gods um, and this is about the deeds of the gods about the bonies factis about the good deeds of the gods so that's really kind of tricky so factis was one of our vocabulary words, and the bonies is the adjective that matches it. So don't worry too much about this construction. Day followed by the ablative. Preposition followed by the ablative. About the good deeds of the gods. That's the genitive second declension, which we'll get next chapter. All right. So the picturae fabulas de vita deorum in Olympo narabant. So, this is going to be referring back to the previous sentence. So, let's go to the verb, narabant, 
they were telling. Well, before we figure out what if there was uh, a separate subject, they were telling what? What were they telling? Referring back to the beautiful pictures. Uh, oh, the pictures. The pictures. They were telling, they were telling what? Stories. Fabulous. Accusative plural. They were the pictures they were telling stories. There's our day again about the life of the gods on Olympus. So the pictures they were telling stories about the life of the gods on Olympus. So this is ablative and this is genitive on Olympus. Is this is ablative? We'll do. Okay, this one's straight, straightforward. I'll let y'all do this one. Dane day arachne blomerabat lanam said, but arachne for my bot picturas de factis malis de arm. Arachne's gonna get in trouble because she was forming the pictures about what? The malis factis. Okay, arachne should know better once you know your mythology. So, Keratai, Picturai, Dei, Errant, Pulcrai. So, Errant is our new to be verb in perfect tense, they were. So, since it's a linking verb, it's going to be, you can just do it in straight Latin word order. Surely, the pictures of the goddess, the goddess's pictures, so this is genitive, the second noun, okay. Surely the pictures of the goddess, the goddess's pictures, they were beautiful. The pictures of the maiden or the maiden's possession, the maiden's pictures, also they were beautiful. So they were bo both forming beautiful pictures. Okay, I'm going to let y'all uh, translate the rest of this and we'll see what's going to happen to that rash girl that Puella Temeraria for not having um, good sense to honor Minerva. Remember she has hubris and uh, what's going to happen to her? This is one of Ovid's origin myths and we're going to find out the origin of the arachnid.